This is code.org, and this is my super duper awesome interactive card, Finishing Touches. And now's your chance to put some finishing touches on your card. We've included some new blocks that you haven't seen before, so take a look around and try some new blocks. Consider adding text. Yes, that's the whole point of a card. So I'm going to do text first, additional images, subtle animation in the background. I already have a subtle animation. Sound effects. Can you figure out how to do this? Yeah. More ways to interact with your card. All right. First up for me is the text. Definitely. So I'm going to have my joke drawing. Where's my text? Text, text, text. Yep. Text. Okay. Now I'm going to put this up here with like the background elements, I guess, just underneath background. So it draws on top. And my joke or my card is going to say, why did the computer cross the road? Because I'm deeply predictable. And I don't know. I don't want it at 0x. I probably want it over here-ish because I want the cow to say it. So I'm going to say 100 and 200 maybe. Uh, I need to change the text size. I know that. Otherwise, it's itty bitty. So text size 14. And I want to fill it with a different color. So I need to put fill above it. I need to make sure because right now, watch this. It's going to be yellow because this fill yellow is up here. So if I wanted a different color, I need to use fill above it. And I'm just going to go with black. I'm going to make it even bigger for my eyes. And I'll push it over to 150. Of course, that's too much. 100. I might push it up a bit too to, uh, well, let's do 150Y, which should be up here ish. Okay. And now maybe 80X to get the bigger tent. Why did the computer cross the road? Cool. All right. Now, what I want is for the answer to only come up if the mouse is pressed over the robot, which is going to actually be easy. Since we have fill and text size right here, we won't have to do it again because robots right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put text. And keep in mind, if I had a different color in between these, say I had yellow in between these for something else, this would be bad because then my text would end up being yellow. You can see at the top, right? So the only reason it's going to work is because it's right underneath all this still. Um, the answer is to get... A wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Fight to eat. Ah! Um, okay, so 10 and probably 200. Let's check that out. Ah! See how funny it is? And there is my joke. All right, what else can we do here? Now, sound effects. Subtle animation, I already have that. I did that in the background video when they suggested it. Sound effects, can you figure out how to add this? Yes. World. Where's my sounds? Oh, play a sound. Play a sound. Um, I'm going to do it when... No. Wow, I'll do it here. When the mouse is over the robot, what am I going to play? I'm going to hit down here and choose. Uh, background, board game, bell. Digital sounds promising. Digital it is. Oh, not an error. I wanted something happy. You're over the robot. Oh, maybe startup. Choose that. So now, if I click the mouse over the robot, it should play a sound. Uh, that definitely works well. Cool. All right, what else do they ask? More ways to interact. Well, I have a bunch of ways. If you've seen these videos already, right? So if I go down here, it is this. If I press the down arrow, it's that. Only when I'm down here, though. If I go up here, it's grass. If I go over to the cow, it's nothing. But if my mouse is up here and I hit space, my cow jumps. Okay, if I hold space, my cow explodes into an elk. And to see the result of my joke, <laughs> I love mine. So yeah, we've done a ton in this little lesson. You should be really proud of yourself as you followed around and created a super duper duper awesome interactive card. Pretty cool. Onward.